What is up, fellow bench warmers? Welcome to another episode of Fantasy Bench Warmers. This is the last of a series of depth chart analysis episodes. We are talking about the Pacific Division today. My name is Jeremy Tan, JJT, and I'm with Komish, Komish yep. Eric Go. Yes, right. hello guys. Simulan na natin with the taka share ko lang uh, with the Pacific Division. Sino bang Pacific? Uh, we'll start with the Golden State Warriors. Okay, Golden State. Golden State, uh, maraming issues pag-usapan dyan. Makita natin yung, medyo bago yung depth chart niya this year kasi starters niya, Curry, Poole, Wiggins, Draymond, and then maybe Kevon Looney, I would think, mm-hmm. will be ahead of Wiseman. Do you agree with that? Uh... I think I'll... Think ko early on, they will try to start Wiseman ulit. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, I could see that. Assuming that okay na siya from the injury, yeah. but mm. I think they will try it again uh, to start Wiseman. And then if it doesn't work, then they'll move him back to the bench and then start Kevon Looney. So, feeling ko ganun yung mag- mangyari. Pero on top, aside from Steph, uh, Wiggins, Draymond, and actually, yung three players siguro would have the sure fantasy value. Yung mga, mga tipong sure mo would be drafted eh. They, they would be drafted in the top 100. Steph Curry, of course, is a top two player. And I'm confident to say he will be a top three or five player at the end of the draft. And because Clay Thompson will be back December 25 pa, earliest. When he comes back, may one month pa yung on-off, di ba? Hindi yeah. every game Rusty lalaro. pa yan, rusty pa. Tapos may minutes limit pa yan. So yeah. I think buong season this year, Medyo wala kayong expected. Actually, wala, ka namang, wala namang talo with Steph Curry. Even if Clay comes back in full, ano, di ba? assist would be higher. Yung, yeah. yung old Clay, uh, Steph. Kasi ngayon, kasi Steph, but low, low on assist na. More of the three points. Uh, konting assist meron here and there. Pero unlike before. Oo, tama. Pero I, agree, I think yung 30 plus points niya, uulitin niya this year yan. Uh, yung usage niya last year na 30-something percent uh, definitely gagawin niya ulit this year Look, just looking at the step chart uh, even if Clay comes back as you said I don't see another player that can create offense here well Draymond yeah but I mean outside of the usual suspects sa bench wala eh <laughs> wala ako nakikita ng player eh. so I think kailangan talaga niyang magano eh. kailangan niyang gawin oh, wow. yung ginawa niya last year Oh, so, very safe second pick season. Um, pag-usapan natin, sino bang okay pag-usapan? Si Clay muna. Tap- si, si Clay, tapusin lang natin Clay, si Clay. Sige, sige. Uh, I'm not gonna pick Clay in any, I don't know, any any pick. Sorry, let others take him. This is even worse than Jaren Jackson last year. Talaga? Uh, for, for, ito lang. As I said, three points is everywhere. Eh. Three points is everywhere. Hahanap ko ng... Clay Thompson na babalik for let's say 30 games this year na lalaro for 3-3 three, three, bibigyan ka 3-3 three, three pointers uh, ano anong kwenta nun daw ang daming 3 point shooters sa bagay sa bagay ang daming 3 point shooters eh so nan pipe up pass uh, how about ano uh, sige wise man yun dun muna tayo wise man how medyo you... forgotten guy to no? si wise man oh I mean hindi na siya hype well, last year naman, hindi naman talaga siya hyped eh. Wala Mas hyped interest. pa si na Lamelo eh. But, uh, Wala akong interest kay Wiseman eh. Sa fantasy ah. Wala akong interest. Last year, 230th rank siya. Last year. Uh, that's 20 plus minutes a game. And they were not really contenders last year. Mm-hmm. They they believe they're already a playoff team this year. A, a, a legit playoff team that can contend. Or at yeah. least make some noise. Saan mo lalagay si Wiseman doon? Assuming nag-improve siya. Assuming nag-improve. Uh, Maka 30 minutes ba si Wiseman? Baka pagmumurahan siya ni Draymond at ni Steph. <laughs> 30 minutes. So, I, I, I assume 20 minutes pa rin ang bibigay sa kanya at the most. So, yeah. 150 yet? Maybe? This year? So, wala, I don't know. Stay away. Wala. Stay away. Hindi ako interested kay Wiseman. Any other player here? Porter? Babantayan? Yeah, yeah. Porter has been going sobrang layo. Sobrang layo. Sobrang layo. And Porter, if he's healthy, 
uh, he can create a role here. Because I said, worth, worth taking using your last pick. Maybe. Uh, assuming I hope that you guys already are drafting after the the ano the preseason. Bantayan nyo lang si Porter siguro. Ako, worth drafting the last week, yes. Pero kung mas merong upside player, mag-upside player na lang kayo, I believe baka si Porter maging available sa waiver wire naman to eh. So, pounds na lang there. Pero yun nga, if Wiseman doesn't really perform that well, wala naman sila ibang center, Draymond Green has to play center. If Draymond plays center... Kaya Looney. Hindi. I mean, uh, given si Looney always injured and wala rin tong masyadong upside player. They would have to... They're, yeah, they they're forced to Draymond talaga center. That's their best lineup eh. Pag center and si Draymond. Kung ganun, Otto Porter, Jelica, and Juan Toscano, they'll have to play the small ball power forward. So, magkaka-value si Otto Porter. Diba? So, so dun, dun, babantayan natin yun. Babantayan right. natin. Uh, yeah, sige. Si, uh, Meron pa ba? Meron si pa Jordan ba Poole. Dito? Si Jordan Poole. Uh, Jordan Poole, I think, one of the last picks na pwede niyong sugalan. Uh, if you want points. Ito, Pero kanina, points pinag- lang rin to eh. Hindi, pinag-usapan natin the last episode yung mga specialists. Isama muna si Jordan Poole dyan. Kaya nga sabi ko sa'yo, ang daming specialists talaga sobra. So, Jordan Poole, another player that you guys can maybe look at as your last pick in this draft if you're behind in points and three-pointers. And then lastly, si Andrew Wiggins. No? He's being overdrafted, I think. Sa Yahoo. Ano siya na pipick? He's, he's at the 90. At the 90. And I, I still believe it's too high for him. Unless your free throws are already, you know, you're punting, punting free throws, pwede. Pero if not, be careful with Wiggins. Be careful with Wiggins. Yun na lang. Uh, ako, I don't pick Wiggins, so... Yeah. <laughs> Pero he had a good, <laughs> he had good, uh, good season last year. Oh, not bad, not bad. Yung season yeah, he, he improved last year. Pero still, still, be careful with Wiggins. Uh, alright, let's move on to the Clippers. Oy, ang ganda nung ano, ah, arena ng Clippers. Oo oh, nga, oh, masyad, okay. sobrang ganda na tuwa si na ano. Sila, sila Kawai. Kawai. Naaliw ako dun sa ano, toilets eh. 27 to 1 ratio. Kakaiba. Like, uh, oh, 27 fans to 1 toilet. Isipin mo yun. Ayos. Diba? Ayos. Uh, alright, pero, let's talk about the Clippers. Oh, pero ano? Pero ito, talk about the Clippers, wala pa rin. Panis pa rin tong Clippers. Reggie Jackson yeah. starters. Reggie Jackson, oh. Paul George. Terrence Mann. Mann. Terrence Morris. Mann, Marcus, and Zubak. Uh, Batum might have something to say about that. They might Baka start... Batum to... over Mann. Yes. Nasa si yes. Batum, ba't wala sa... Ah, okay. Ayun, nasa so power, power forward. forward. The power forward. Yeah. Um, hindi ko rin alam how healthy Ibaka would be. And if gagamitin siya somewhere Ibaka's there injury over is back. Marcus Morris. Ibaka's injury is back. Uh, medyo major injury daw yun. Major injury. I feel may chance na hindi siya ready for opening night. Mm, okay. Mm. So baka wala na rin. Okay, so Marcus Morris. Alright. Sino dito? Si Ibaka, ano ha? Ibaka is... I'm, I'm saying na he, baka may chance hindi siya ready. Pero I don't think he'll be out for a long time. For a long time. Na, Kasi matagal uh, na siyang wala eh. Matagal na siyang wala, yes. Um, Pero major uh, injury to I'm just saying yeah. that, major injury. Okay, so Paul George, we all know, would be probably a first rounder. Or, yes, uh, yes. You know, worst case, ta- worst case, nasa early second round. Second na. round. Hindi na yung yes. papatabuti ng 20. Uh, sobrang uh, skin oh. na pag umabot pa ng 20 sa second round. Although, although nasa 20 siya sa Yahoo. Although nag-update ang Yahoo ah, this today. So, we'll, I guess I'll just update you guys sa... Uh, sa post, maybe tomorrow. Pero last up, before this update, nasa 20 siya. And oh, that's because yung steals niya last year, bumaba. Laki nang binaba na steals niya last year. Oh. So, there. Uh, Kawhi, pinag-usapan na natin. Nah. You should not pick him na. Stay yeah. away na from him. Uh, yes. Reggie Jackson. Yan. Uh, Reggie Jackson, kung ano si Derek Rose last year. Yun yung tingin ko kay Reggie Jackson. So, hindi yeah, yeah, na rin ito masyadong ano. Um, it's draftable. It's draftable for me. 110, 120, 130. Okay yun. Okay sa akin. Uh, I think he will have a prominent role given this. Ano. Pero someone na medyo surprising, I will say, is Eric Bedso. <laughs> Siya yung medyo, ano eh, medyo mas... Nag-fall. Na, 
medyo, yeah, and caught my eye here. Eh. Uh, I think when he was traded to the Clippers, I did say na parang, wala na to, Eric Led, so tapos na. But thinking about it again, feeling ko parang, uy, parang sa sobrang baba nito. And look at, looking at the depth chart again, meron siya, meron siyang pathway to minutes dito. Ah. Meron May, siyang role. But, but they can, ano eh, they can put him behind Paul George. Eh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Kasi kita mo yung lineup po. Oh. Kung hindi rookies, may scrub pa nga dito eh. Scrub player rin to. May rookies. I mean, I'd rather pick Eric Bledsoe siguro over Kennard. Parang ganyan. Oo naman. Oo. oo. Hindi, kasi yun. Kumbaga, yun yung, yun eh, yung kala- kasam- kasama niya dun sa depth chart in terms of the second unit. Eh, diba? Pero si Bledsoe, ito, eh, actually, mas magandang tanong dyan si Reggie Jackson or Bledsoe. People say, eh, Reggie Jackson. Pero ako, I'm not even too sure about that. Kasi Bledsoe was a better fantasy hey, na lang yan fantasy sa bad, stat line. We're, 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 what position are we talking about? What draft position ang pinag-usapan natin? I think they're almost near each other. Yun yan. Sa so, mock drafts. Ma- 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 malapit sila. Malapit ng dalawa. And I'd rather have Bledsoe in certain situations. Kasi... Uh, Kasi sakit na naman ulo natin sa ka Bledsoe. Oo, pero going back to LA... And then a new coach, na better coach, ay, na can utilize him in a Pat Bev role. And he's a better Pat Bev. Pat Bev in LA had some usage value. Usage-wise, I think usage-wise. Even that, baka nga, ano, yes. magamit si Bledsoe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And baka maging, ano, ano, uh, undervalued pick to yung, yung yes. Bledsoe na to. Um, yes. Terrence Mann, another player na Six-man, six-man rule. I'd rather have Nick Batum, though, than Terrence Mann. Pag, pagsamahin na natin, no? Nick, Nick Batum over Terrence Mann this year. Uh, wala akong... Napanood natin si Terrence Mann sa playoffs. Pero over a whole season, wala akong history to base it on. Ang alam ko lang nun, hindi pa siya major player sa Clippers. Hindi siya masyadong ma-steals. Yung ano three points niya. I think... Scoring, scoring, and a little rebounding. And kung ganun lang talaga siya, uh, hindi ako ganun ka-excited. I'd rather have Batum. Which... So, so matanda na si Batum eh. Pero kung saan pinipick si Batum this year, I think easily... Pero last year, he was close to mga top 70, di ba? Top 80. Yes, si Batum. yes. E- easily, he's gonna easily beat his, ano, his uh, draft position, si Batum. Hindi rin siya popular pick because of his mm. age. Yes. Ah, uh, kaya siya nagde-drop. So, uh, but Terence Mann could be a flyer maybe in the later rounds. Kung 11th, 11th, 12th, 13th, mga ganyan, 13th round. Kung he's he he's there. If he he falls there, uh, yeah, yeah. I think so. Ah, Pero he's not tama ka kasi baka he'll be picked higher because isipin ng mga tao, ay walang kaway eh, Terence Mann 'yan. Oh, pero yun nga, as I said, na hindi, hindi kasi siya masyadong uh, fantasy-friendly guy. So, oh. parang wag na lang ako. So, doon na lang kayo. Sa iba na lang, sila na lang sumugal sa kanya. Yan. Zubak. Yan. Favorite ko last year. Eh. Zubak uh, is a very boring pick. <laughs> Alam mo yun. So, He's gonna give... Sa, ano? Uh, boring fantasy players kasama nila Tobias pero good value kasi ako masaya ako with Zuba kasi pucha, oh. 6 out of 6 7 out of 7 yun. 7 yun. out of 8 uh. alam mo yun kung yung field goal mo medyo hirap on that week pick him up solid na eh tapos ano ka eh bigyan ka ng 10 points 10 rebounds oh, diba? 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 1 okay, block 1 block solid na eh Bagadan lang eh so I think uh, actually si Zuba Surprisingly, ah, medyo tumaas yung ranking niya this year. Pero sa, last year, he was within top 100 eh. Sa, 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 sa actual performance. Pero sa draft, oh, he was, draft he was undrafted eh. Oh. Pero ngayon, they rectified that already. Nandun siya sa 100, ano na ata siya eh, 115, 120, ganun. And I think, kailangan mo ng big man. Medyo solid na yan. Solid pick siya dun. Solid yeah. pick si Zuka. And Still the same. One of the, the centers same. that can shoot free throws. Mm. Mm-hmm. And who uh-huh. would not try to shoot three-pointers. Kaya oh, alam niya, so, hindi niya kaya. <laughs> Oo, oh, hindi siya tumitira doon. Pero very oh. efficient kasi yun yung pinakamaganda kay Zubak. Very efficient. Sa Roto, uh, guys, actually, magandang pick doon. 
Yan, itong, itong isang secret sa Roto, itong si Zuba. Ang tanong na lang, where you pick him? Kasi last year, he, I think, ended up, kundi ako nagkakaman, he ended up within the top 100. Eh. He did. He did. Diba? He did. Uh, uh, mga 80s to, late 80s to 90s yan eh. I Basta think, kung, kung nasaan siya ngayon sa Yahoo, dun mo siya ipick. Okay pa ako. Okay outside pa ako. 100 siya? Outside. outside. Okay, outside 100. So, Zubak, pabantayan niya if you need a center. And like we said, di ba? Centers nga, hindi masyad, medyo, hindi siya kalat all throughout the rounds. Mm. Mm. Hindi siya kalat. And one of the value centers that you can have si Zubak. Alright. Oh, move tayo. Alphabetical tayo, kaya mapag-uusapan kagad natin. The Los Lakers. Angeles Lakers. Ayan. Napag-usapan na natin to a bit eh. Hmm. Uh, Sino ba starting ano? five dyan? Uh, well, <laughs> obviously, Westbrook, LeBron, AD are sure starting five. Oo. Uh, ang tanong na lang, kasi ang sabi nga, LeBron and AD are going to play the four and five eh. Hindi ko alam if, ano yan, they're gonna play four and five sparingly or they're gonna play four and five from the get-go, di ba? So, Yan ang pinakamalaking question mm. mark eh. Yeah. Uh, so, if they play, if they don't play 4 and 5, uh, I think DeAndre Jordan will start. Agree. Yes. Um, If they play 4 and 5, then, well, obviously, LeBron 4, uh, Anthony Davis 5, and then maybe... Ako, Ariza. Monk and Ariza? I don't think it's Monk. I think it's Ariza and maybe Ellington. Ellington, I think might might be the guy there. Might might be Ellington. Ellington at the uh, at the two. Because I think they would want to go veteran and then just put the young guy. Monk is a younger guy in this team. Ah, uh, yeah. siguro mas bagay na isama na siya kay Taylor Carter Tucker, kay Kendrick Nunn, yung younger group. Total uh-huh. may may Car- Carmelo ka naman sa group na yan. May Dwight Howard, so may may mga vets ka naman na to lead that second five. So, baka ganun yung maging situation nito. Baka, baka ganun. Pero fantasy-wise, pag-usapan natin, Lebron. What, anong rank ni Lebron? Ah, de, si 15. Anthony Davis muna. Anthony Davis. Uh, Anthony Davis, di ba, nasa 11 or 12. I think so, that's about right. That's about right. Worth the, ano, sa tingin nyo, ano? Um, sa tingin nyo, bounce back. Bounce back year? Yes. Kaya niya mag top 5? Last year, nasa 30 plus rank siya. And he's top free. Five? Di naman top 5. Siguro top 6, top, siguro top 8. Top 8. Maybe I'll be going more confident top 8. Ito, bakit? Free throw niya last year, he shot 70 plus percent tata. Hindi ever nangyari yun eh, sa career niya. Kahit sa college eh. So parang feeling ko fluke yun eh, number 1. Number 2, uh, blocks niya bumaba. Sobrang bumaba yung blocks niya last year. Hindi rin nangyari yun ever. Tumatanda na ba siya? Feeling ko hindi naman. Feeling ko he was not healthy at all. Tumatanda <laughs> talaga siya. Pero hindi, 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 hindi naman. Ano, feeling ko hindi siya healthy at all. Yeah, he did yeah. not get the rest that he deserved. That's why feeling ko, ay, ako, ako lang yun. Kasi hindi naman ako nasunog ni Anthony Davis last year. So wala akong galit. Ako madami. Yun na nga eh. Kasi feeling ko kung 11 or 12, feeling ko sobrang baba eh. Hindi ko alam ha. Ako lang feeling ko parang dapat sa top 10 to eh. Dapat sa top 10. So, akin hindi, lang. Hindi, hindi mo ma-imagine eh. No? You can't imagine Anthony Davis being picked outside of the top 10. Pili Kahit nga outside of the Pili top, top 5 eh. Parang talaga Anthony Davis outside of the top 5? People are uh, people are factoring the performance last year plus Russell Westbrook's entrance and his effect on Anthony Davis. So, I'll, I'll give that to them. Pero ako feeling ko lang na he'll finish in the top 10 for sure in fantasy. Ang worry ko, yun nga, yung injury, yun pa rin, di ba? Alam ko naman, maraming galit sa kanya hanggang ngayon kasi ito pinag-usapan yan. Galit na galit talaga yung mga fantasy managers, eh. parang kuisit yan, uh, lagi na lang bumabalik sa locker room, lagi na lang may trip to the locker room. Hmm. Eh, ako naman, sige, hayaan mo siya mag-trip to the locker room, basta bumalik siya. Mahirap yung may trip to the locker room, pero hindi bumalik. Hindi na bumalik. <laughs> Oo, oh. yun mas mahirap. So, uh, so medyo, medyo okay yung value niya. Yun. Lebron. Lebron is 15 tata this year. Nasa 15 siya eh. Am I right? Parang ganun eh. Uh, hindi ko pa nakita yung ano. 15, 15. Uh, ako siguro lower second round. Pwede kong sugalan. Yun na lang yung akin. Nasa lower uh, second round. Westbrook, lower second round din. I'm not a Westbrook fan, alam mo yan. <laughs> ako, I made my rankings already. 
Uh, preliminary. Okay, first... Propose ko yung rankings mo. Na, yung top 14 mo. Ah, hindi. Oh, hindi. Iba na yung top 14 ko. So, okay. Below, Bi- outside top 14 na yan. Big- bigay ko yung top 14 ko. Pero nag-rank na ako until 150. Eh. Si Westbrook ko nasa 40... 42? <laughs> 42 or 43. Parang ganun yung rank kay Westbrook. Alam ko, maraming magagalit na naman. 25 points, 14 rebounds. Oh, Westbrook 18. fans. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just don't, don't see the, ano, the, the that happening this year. Hindi, in... Kasi, hindi kaya, yeah. Ito lang siguro kasi si Combs not really known to punt like free throws or ano. Eh. Hindi ka naman yes. masyado nagpapunt eh. Depends, manager. depends. Hindi, actually, may years na nagpapunt. Pero De- very rare for you. Sa atin, sa atin, hindi ako nagpapunt. Pero sa iba nagpapunt ako. Ayan. Nagpapunt so, ako. De, pero pero si Westbrook Westbrook is a player that you most likely you are punting something eh. a lot turnovers free turnovers, throws free throws yan no three points <laughs> field goal yung crease naman kasi you can make up for it oh you don't have to na. really punt eh, diba tama yung tama. yung mal, ma hurt ka lang talaga ni Westbrook field goal efficiency ah uh-uh. efficiency uh-uh. stats ne uh-uh. turnover uh-uh. din Medyo turnover, ano, yeah. Turnover, field goal, and free throws. Free throws, yes. Yes. Diba? Tama. Eh, but uh, he's, not a, he's not a positive sa three points. He's not a net positive sa three points. Hindi. Hindi. Sa oh. threes? Oh. Hindi, hindi. Pero, I mean, ibig sabihin, sa three-pointers, you could get it somewhere else. That's true. Yeah, player That's mo. True. Pick mo na lang other players that can help out. Uh, hindi rin ako big fan ni Westbrook. Ang, parang ang hirap to build around a player like this, eh. So, yun na, tama ka. Kung nagpapunt ka, siguro mas talagang tataas ang value ni Westbrook for you. So, yeah. doon. Doon ko siya nakikita. Hindi ako against, guys, hindi ako against na kunin si Westbrook. Let's say, nasa 20s or 30s. Oo, oh, baka mabash ka. Hindi, hindi. Yung 20s or 30s, pinik niyo si Westbrook. I assume na you know what you're doing. Yun na lang, yun na lang. Like, or you know, you know what you're getting with Westbrook. Oo, oh, and you have, you have a plan. Kasi sabi nga ni JJT, eh, kung ano, three points. Uh, hindi nyo pwede i-punt yung four categories. Eh. Although, may, may kakilala ko, ginawa yun successfully. Pero, pero ibig sabihin, more or less, hindi nyo gagawin. So, I guess, kaya nyo siyang i-supplement with other players in the next few rounds or something. So, I assume na gagawin nyo. Ako, ako lang, as a manager, ayoko ng ganung players early on. Ang dami kong hahabulin na ibang categories. Nalilimit uh, kasi ako eh. Nalilimit yung options. So, yun. Okay. So, aside from those the big three, any player here na could have good fantasy value? None? Yeah. Kendrick, maybe. Kendrick, none. Maybe, kung draftable, ah, draftable. Pero itong mga to, ano na to, mga nasa 120 to 150 range na siguro itong mga. Oo. Oo. Wala ka na mapipick dito, eh. mga, wala. <laughs> iwan mo to sa FA, ano eh, makukuha mo pa to eh. None. I'm sure players like yan, sina none, may magda-draft dyan. Most likely, CTHT may magda-draft dyan. Ako none. Dwight, no? Dwight malamang may magda-draft, may kukuha rin dyan. Yung Dwight and DeAndre, nung wala pa si DeAndre, maybe. Pero na dyan si DeAndre, parang di na nga sure na mag-start eh. Magiging timeshare pa yung off the bench. So parang, parang ang hirap eh. So ako parang wala eh. Wala ko na, Lakers fan ako, pero fantasy wise. Siguro wala. after the top, Top 3, si Nun na lang. Kahit si THT, hindi ako ganun to fan fantasy-wise. Ako rin eh. Hindi ako oh, big fan ng THT hindi, hindi fantasy-wise. Eh. Pero, iba naman specialist lang. Wayne Ellington, maybe. If you need 3-pointers. Oh, yan. Hindi, Nun. pero alam naman natin, Wayne Ellington, ano na lang yan eh. Uh, may stretches lang yan na okay. Mm. Uh, pero yun, that's the Lakers. Uh, moving on to the second to the last team, the Suns. I think medyo mas boring uh, team to, to talk about kasi there's really not much changes yeah the Suns uh, Chris Paul Booker Bridges uh, Crowder and Aton starting five I think their value would be the same as last season Chris Paul siguro yan ang laging tanong yeah as I think aged to the point na ano last year buwaba na siya in value sa draft the draft, di ba? Oh, I mean, the draft. He, he was used to mga late second round to ano yan eh, third round maybe. Last pero, year, he was going mga late third to fourth, mga ganyan. Pero naging steal dahil doon. Oh. This year, kaya, this year, nga, eh, kaya nga yung tricky part eh. 
This year na sa 25, 26 siya eh. Uh, ako, ito na lang. Two years straight na siyang naglaro ng 80. 82 and 80 games. Uh, 38 na siya. 37 to 38 years old pag nag-start ng season. The more, ito ah, hindi ibig sabihin naglaro siya ng two straight good years na 160 games out of 162. Feeling nyo, oh, hindi durable to eh. Durable eh. Ako, ako, ako ito, inisip ko. Two years na siyang hindi na-injure. So, bound to get injured. <laughs> Two years ko na siyang kinuha. Two years ko ng player to. And two years na niya akong pina, pina, pinasaya. This year, I'm not going to attempt fate. Attempt <laughs> fate. Sige, let's say the 25-24 na ranking so far might be too high for Chris Paul. Might not be. It's just that wala kang leeway. Wala ka ng... Yeah. That's the highest that he can go. Uh, pero at 40, willing oh. ka pa rin to go for Chris Paul. Kung nasa 32, 30, 30 to 34 na si, 30 to 40 na si Chris Paul, pick him already. Good okay. value na yun. Ang projection ko sa kanya is play 65 games this year. Okay, which not is... Not 80. Bad. Not 80. 65. Which is not bad na, di ba? Oo. Uh, uh, Chris Paul or Kyrie? Ah, uh, Kyrie. Okay. Kyrie. Para lang ano, kasi syempre pareho rin silang may parang, although si Kyrie mas maraming games possibly ma-miss niyan eh. Kasi, kasi feeling ko sugal eh parehas. Pero si Kyrie, pag sinugalan mo at nag-jackpot ka, top 10 player makukuha mo eh. Oh, top true. 10 eh. True, oh. true. Yung ceiling talaga ni Chris Paul, second round eh. Second round. At this second point round. in his career. Yes. Second round value. Uh, Devin Booker. Uh, last top year, specialist. <laughs> hindi. Actually, <laughs> before before last year naman, nasa top 20 yan si Booker eh, fantasy-wise. Last year, he finished 60 plus. And kasi uh, parang ano na siya eh, with Chris Paul there, parang naging specialist na lang eh. Hindi, uh, ang, kung panoritingnan mo bakit bumaba siya, hindi lang dahil sa assist eh. Bumaba yung assist niya, pero yung free throws niya bumaba. 93% to 87%. 87% for you, parang, oh, not bad naman yun ah. Pero yung 93% kasi, Saka ang laki nun. Saka yata yung attempts niya eh. Hindi, hindi naman, hindi naman. Pero ang laki kasi nung 6% sa kanya eh. Yeah, kasi yeah. Yung, yung 92 to 93%, sobrang elite nun. Yeah. Malakas mag-free throw to eh. So parang karga niya yung category na yun eh. E nung nag-87%, magdanig pa rin. Pero ang daming 87%, 88% free throw shooters eh. ba diba? So naging good na lang siya. So dun ng value na yun. So this year, tingin ko hindi siya top 25. Pero hindi rin siya nasa 60s to 70s. Hindi naman siya ganun. Yeah, third round, first. third round. Okay siya, okay siya. Third round, 36 to 45 po siya tinagay. Third round. Dun, Third round value. Third round value. Uh, hmm. Devin Booker. Mikal Bridges, favorite din to ng mga fantasy managers. Mga, um, ve- hindi, mga veteran fantasy managers, ito yung mga favorite nila, mga Mikal Bridges. Mikal, 1.2 steals, w- almost one block a game and almost, w- siya yung 1-1-1 guy. Steals, hmm. blocks, and three-pointers. Pero yun nga, sobrang inconsistent because siguro sa tingnan mo sa depth chart, may Booker, ah, may Paul. Too high. Too high. Minsan, People are picking him too high. Sayang, no? Kung linagay mo siya sa team na siguro siya yung star. Easy Hindi naman siya magiging star, eh. Kaya niya. Kaya niya. Kung linagay mo siya sa, sa isang team na siya yung... Mikal or OG? Ayun na eh. I was just gonna say Mikal or OG. I'll pick Mikal. Palitan mo sila. Gawin mo si OG, lagay mo dito, lagay mo si Mikal doon sa Toronto. I'll pick Mikal. Because the, the Mikal bridges yung, yung scoring niya He showed it in the playoffs eh. Kaya niya eh. It's a point na parang hindi niya kailangan gawin. Yeah. Hindi, hindi niya kailangan, kailangan gawin. gawin. This team. Oo. And he has to play within the system kasi contenders kayo eh. So, lalo siya nagiging passive na parang let the game come to me lang. So, minsan may four points lang siya, six points, mga ganun lang. And that kills you as a fantasy manager. Oh, minsan that's, frustrating eh. Parang. That's, that's why siguro 60s is the better better range for him. Ako nga, mga nasa 70s eh. Sulit na yun kung 70s. Sulit na yun. Kasi tingnan mo yung mga... feeling ko kasi, with his inconsistency and with the lineup ng Phoenix being medyo star-studded ng konti, he's being overlooked. So parang for me, baka pwede ko pa ma-stretch to a 70. That's, that's true. That's true. Tama ka doon. Kasi parang kung, kung, kung feeling ko, hindi naman mapipick yan at the 70. Kasi when I draft rin naman, tinitingnan ko rin sino yung mga nasa taas. Ha? Most likely, ito mm-hmm. mauna, ito mauna, ito mm-hmm. mauna, ito. Over this guy, di ba? So parang mm-hmm. feeling ko maraming mauna than bridges. Kasi nga, 
ano yun, yung si Paul, yung si Booker. For one, for one, you should not pick Jeremy Grant over Michael Bridges. You should not do that. Oh, yan. Yeah, although, no? although malapit sila, malapit sa range. Pero you should not do that. Um, so, Thank yun, Michael Bridges, Jay Crowder naman. Uh, Jay Crowder yeah. is one, one player that could be a, a last round pick yeah. for me. Or a waiver pick up right away. Yep. Kasi uh, ano siya eh, uh, three points elite and then steals. Steals, yes. Uh, Pero this year, ang question dyan si Cam Johnson. Jure, jure, jure. Ang question dyan si Cam Johnson, will Cam start over him this year? So yan lang ang question mark sa Phoenix for me. There's yeah. a possibility. I, There's a possibility. There is, pero I don't think they'll do that. I don't think they'll do that. Uh, yeah, but defense-wise, set na eh. Why would they change it? I mean... Well... Uh, yung last playoff kasi, you can see Cam was already outplaying Jay in some games. And Monty already said na parang he's a starter. Cam Johnson is a starter in this league. So, I think there's a possibility na may changing of the guards na at this range. Ha. May possibility dun. Pero, not a given. Not a given. But anyway, Cam, Cam Johnson din is a, same with Jay. Possible last round pick. Pero, don't expect a lot from Cam. Kasi more of ano lang yan. Eh. Three parang, points. Three points. Baka nga wala pang steal. So, wala, uh, wala, wala. Aton. Ito na lang, Aton. Aton, may Second mga nakita draft. tayong 20 plus. Masyado mataas yon Yung tamang range niya nasa 30s. 30s. Pero if you're value. playing Roto, yon I would I would pick him higher pag Roto. Pero since maraming head-to-head, let's talk about head-to-head. Nasa 31 to 40. Nandun ako kay Aton. If Roto kasi, you have to look at the across-the-board stats. So, percentages, yes. Oh, percentages. Mahirap mag-punt sa Roto eh. I Ayun think to. Aton will be 16 points, 11 rebounds, 1 block. 1.2 blocks. Ganon. Ganon na ang performance niya. Ganon ganun kalupit ang ano, mga predictions ni Compat, yung stats. Hindi, kailangan mo i-project yung stats eh. Para malaman mo oh, saan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Medyo oh. ba, actually, hindi naman mahirap to project the stats eh, di ba? Uh-huh. Titignan mo na yung numbers nila last year and then yes. isipin mo na lang kung mag-i-improve ba yon or same lang or... 14 siya last year eh. 14-10. Tingin mo ba gagawin siyang 20 points scorer ng Phoenix? Hindi ko hindi. Hindi ko hindi. Hindi siya may 20 points scorer. Uh-huh. Um, do you pick Aton over ano pa rin? John Collins? Oo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I pick Aton over John Collins. Okay. So, yun na yung... Kasi last year silang dalawa yung parang ano eh Isipin mo kung sino yung who will you pick first eh. Si uh, Cam Campaign. Uh, someone to monitor. Given Chris Paul's age. And uh, given uh, last year's ano, given performance. last year's performance. Yeah. ba diba? So, baka ano rin. Pwede rin tong flyer on the latter rounds. Uh, baka nga higher eh. Yeah. Hindi ko may kukuha dyan ng mga 10th, 11th round eh. Pwede. Pero feeling ko 10th might be too high. Siguro 11, 12, pwede na yun. Yeah. Pwede na yun. Uh, and the last team. Kings. Ang gagawa natin ng depth chart. Sacramento, Sacramento, Sacramento Kings. Kings. Oh, ito, interesting din. Not the best of teams to end with. Pero... Hindi. Actually, this is the best team to end with. Pero it's a good ano eh, depth chart eh. Yes, exactly. Kaya nga feeling ko this is the best team to end Not with. Not the best in terms of yung contender type na ano. Pero yung depth chart nila medyo maganda. Ang gulo. So, magulo ang gulo. na parang ang daming pwedeng options. And ang daming uncertainties din. Yes. Uh, dun sa, ano. So the Iron Fox, medyo sure naman yan, di ba? Mm-hmm. Uh, Body Hill is on the trading block. So hindi natin yes. sure. Pero let's assume since nandyan pa rin naman siya, uh, I feel Body Hill will be traded at some point this season, I don't think he'll end up with Sacramento at the end of the season. Kasi if you're mm-hmm. in the trading block, malabong, yes. may mag-stay ka pa dyan eh, di ba? Uh, mm-hmm. So, but, uh, if he stays, obviously, last year, hindi yata siya nag-start, no? Start. Start. Because he was siya. coming off the bench. Hindi, starter siya. Starter siya. Si Halley ang off the bench. Okay. Uh, and then, Halley. So I think Halliburton. ito. Yan, Halliburton. Barnes. Uh, actually, hindi ko nga alam kung Halliburton, they will start eh. They will. They will start Halliburton. They will start. I, I think Barnes they will and go. Holmes. Barnes and Holmes. I would think that would be their starting five. Um, 
talk about Fox, maybe. Fox would be the highest ranked player here, I think. And a little bit underrated in Yahoo. A little yung, bit. Ano siya, 40 yung... second data sa Yahoo. Medyo mababa yun, ah. For the 30 plus. I think because of the free throws. Because of the free throws. Pero last year, nag-improve siya. Nag-improve, pero 73% pa rin sa free throws. So, uh, and meron I mag- feel mga ganun na lang rin yung range niya. I don't think he'll improve more. Yeah. Pero may magandang ano, ah, if you're punting free throws, kaya maganda mag-punt free throws naman. Uh, we'll talk about that siguro sa draft namin. Pero, maganda, kung nagpa-punt free throws, kayo, some values will open up to you. Eh. Kasi last season, ah, mabilis, mabilisan, last season we said that huwag kayo mag-punt kasi COVID season yun eh. Maraming yeah. biglang wala eh. Pero this year, tingin ko baka mas hindi na. So, balik muna tayo sa punting. Ah, mas hindi na, if, plus mas predictable na last year kasi hindi predictable. Mm, mm, mas na alam na ng NBA what to do. Yeah. So I think Fox, kung punt free throws, top 20. Top 20, baka top 15 guy pa yan pag punt. Pag alisin mo yung free throws, mm. top, top 20. Last year, alisin free throws, I think sabi 17 or 18 check. Yeah. So if you pick him at 30 plus, at the punt free throw build, you'll get a good value. So, uh, so that's something to consider with Fox. Yeah. Uh, so if you missed out on the top tier PG's point cards, diba? you pick uh, the centers or the big man uh, players, at least ito, may option ka na. So kapag nag-draft kayo, sisilipin nyo naman before you make a pick, eh, diba? Like, mm. eh, wow, paano kayo mag-draft? Pero syempre, pag mag-draft kayo, kunyari, pag pinick nyo to, kunyari, pin- nag-pick kayo ng big man, hanapin nyo kung sino pwede nyo ma-pick na point guard. Mm. sa baba, di ba? Kasi kung hindi nyo titignan yung sa baba, baka maubusan ka ngayon. Ng... Eh, pero yung mga listeners naman natin, batak na sa mock drafts eh. Oh. Grabe ata mag-mock drafts yung mga yan eh. Tayo nga, ako ah. Oo, oh, <laughs> ako. Ata ako mock drafts eh. Oo, oh, in past years, hindi naman ako nagmamock drafts eh. Oo. Oh. Pero yeah, yeah, tama si Jerry. So uh, I guess. So sisilipin uh, nyo who are the players that you can pick and if they are, uh, if they can be picked after nyo mag-pick. They can pick next, di ba? Uh, mm. So, Halliburton, under, uh, Halliburton. Ito, parang sleeper pick to last year. Eh. And still this year. 60 plus siya this year. I think that's just right. Uh, I'm, there's potential for more for him. Ang nakakatawa yung stats niya. It's very similar to Marcus Smart. But he should field goal? Hindi. Yeah. Yan nga sabihin ko eh. But except field goal. So, I'll go Halley. I'll go Halley. And if Smart is going 70s every year naman, si Smart lowest 90. 90 to 80. This year, 70. 50s ako, Halley Burton. Good enough for me. 1 point something, 1.3 steals last year. Three, 2 point something, 3 pointers. Tapos shoots, what, 47, 48%. Halley Burton is a good pick in the mid, in that range. Okay. Uh, so, si Hield, how, you will, how will you treat Hield? 90s. 90s. 90s ang, uh, 90s ang ano ko, range ko sa kanya. Uh, whether traded or not? That's the question. Do you, he's better staying in Sacramento. Ah, talaga? Pag na-trade, feeling mo? Oo. Oh, oh, pag na-trade siya, saan siya magiging better? Eh, hindi si sila good with the day, Luke Walton eh. Hindi, pero he still, ano eh, yung role niya dyan, 4-3 pointers, 20 plus points a game. Given na yun eh. Pag linipat mo siya sa contender, Baka maging Evan Fournier ito eh. Pag, uh, diba? Diba? Eh, pwede eh. Evan Fournier last year. Yung last oh, year na pwede. Bigla na lang parang sige, you have to play within the system. Contending tayo. Hindi ka pwede tira ng tira. You have to be just playing yeah. your role. Baka maging JJ Redick na actually. Diba? So, yeah. hindi mo masabi eh. Kaya for me, that's why I put him at 90s. 80s to 90s. Because of sinabi nga ni Jeremy, baka hindi mo stay sa Sacramento. Malabo, malabo magstay na sa... Mm. I don't think... Two years na yata siyang nababalitang iti-trade eh. mm. Last year was the second year. Eh. Basta ito, Walton and Buddy Hill, I don't think they, m- ano, uh, close sila. Hindi sila close. Uh, hindi talaga. <laughs> talaga. Uh, Harrison Barnes, another player na nag-surprise last year. Ah. Uh, at this year, again, after 100 range, go for it. Go for it. Feeling ko, wala na masyadong upside picks na sa 100 to 120 range. Feeling ko, okay naman siya. Pero, Pag within the 100, too high. Too high. Okay. <laughs> too high. Ito, ito, Kasi magand- he ended up within the 100. Eh, yes. 
Yes, he won't do that again. Ito, ito, ito. Pag-usapan natin yung depth chart. Kasi depth chart natin, tingnan natin. Nakakatawa tong depth chart ng Sacramento. Eh. Alam mong, hindi mo alam kung marunong, gumo, marunong yung GM mo, hindi. <laughs> Harrison Barnes, Marvin Bagley, syempre, di ba? Tapos Rishon Holmes. Tapos yeah. they traded for Tristan Thompson and then signed Alex Len. So, di ba, lima, lima na yon. Uh. They, they pick two very... Uh, they, they they have two very young promising their most pro- two of their promising players na bata is Shimezi Metu who played well, last year yeah, yeah. best remember and he was it was good and then si Naimias Keta second round pick to na sobrang promising din to one of the favorites ng mga draft experts kasi he's a great rebounder blocker so paano maglalaro lahat to diba well si Keta, hindi na maglalaro. Hindi, pero sobrang, ba, sobrang ano naman siya sa depth chart. Sobrang, <laughs> sobrang Mark, baon. At least on the ano, trading block. Yun ang sabi, pero he still have to play him, right? Uh, start of the season. That's... Yeah, makagalit tatay niyan eh. Oo, oh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, si, may bakayo sa... pa ba si Bagley? Wala, wala. <laughs> wag na. Wag na, guys. Ako mag-wise man muna ako bago ako mag <laughs> Holmes. Holmes ako naman. Si Holmes, Holmes last year sobrang ano ah, layo ng draft na ano, position. This year, nandun siya sa ano, nandun siya sa big man run na sa fifth round. Nandun siya. Kasama Which siya. Which is doon. ano na, okay na, not bad. Okay. Okay, okay value. Okay, Good value. value. Kasi may third round upside tong si ano, eh, Holmes eh. Pero takot-takot dun sa mga backup niya. Eh. Lalakas eh. Tristan Thompson, Alex din, no? <laughs> Favorite na ni Alex ta- Len eh. Tristan Thompson Nakaka- yan. Medyo may value nga rin yan. Nakakatakot to eh. Kasi what if masira na ulo si Luke Walton? Biglang sabihin, o oh, sige, 20 minutes ka, Holmes ah. <laughs> Tapos bibigyan ko kasi ng 10 minutes si favorite ni Jeremy na si Alex Len eh. Kasi <laughs> uh, Actually, syempre, pwede. Ang, ang worry ko nga, hindi ko nga sure kung sure starter si Holmes eh. Hindi, sure yan. New sure. contract. Sa bagay, new contract. Oo, new contract starter yan. Pero, so, kailangan talaga may matrade dito. At some point, kailangan may matrade dito sa, ano to, sa depth trade. Pero they'll trim this down. Is over, sobrang dami nilang players. They'll trim that down pa naman. Pero sino ma- ma- sinong maaalis dyan? Hindi naman nila alisin si, da- si Damian Jones siguro at saka yung Emmanuel Terry na yan. Siguro tanggalin nila yan. Pero that's still Len. seven. Seven bigs. <laughs> diba? Len. Len, hindi, hindi. Uh, Walton has already said that he, he likes Len. Paan ba ang daming may gusto kay Len? And even uh, even the BBB writer of Sacramento said that Alex Len might actually be the backup center, hindi si Tristan Thompson. Kaya nga sinabi ko sa'yo, nakakatakot to eh. Kasi kung hindi pa palaroin si Tristan Thompson, ba't pa nila kinuha? So what if they play three centers? <laughs> Patay. <laughs> Patay tayo dyan. Paan ba ang daming may gusto kay Len? That's Kasi the, ano naman eh, Len, Len is better ano, better in real life than in fantasy. In fairness, in fairness, when you watch him, parang, bakit ba di star player to? Parang, <laughs> parang merong all the, ano eh, all the, di ba? All, all the, the tools. Th- all the tools oh, are eh. there. Yeah. Since Phoenix days pa yan, si Alex so, Len. Ito uh, si Davion Mitchell, si Terrence Davis. We talk about it lang. People are picking Mitchell 130. 138. I like it. I, I just like it. I don't know why. But Favorite like mo it. yan eh. Hindi, feeling, sabi nila Josh Lloyd, wala daw minutes. For me, eh, sino bang kapalit ni Fox? Di ba? Parang, wala namang ibang kapalit si Fox eh. Oh, si, wala ka point guard. Wala oh, point guard. Si, si Hill. Si Halley, si Halley. Oh, pero dalawa lang sila eh. I mean, syempre, sasama mo si Terrence Davis dyan. Feeling ko, lalaroin yan eh. Lalaroin si Davian Mitchell. Lalaroin siya. So, 130s, feeling ko good 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 value. Good na na last pick. Pwede oh, last pick na yun eh. Oo. Oh. Uh, huwag ka nang mahiya to, to some, a player to watch out for. Pero hindi mo i-expect to, ito, itong mga player na to, like Davian Mitchell, hindi mo expect to play ag- agad. Mm, mm. Hindi, hindi uh, naman. Pero to? as, as a rookie na susugalan mo, I go with Suggs, Josh Giddy, Alperen Sengun, and then Davian Mitchell. Of course, Kate Cunningham. Pero yung mga mas sugal, mas mababa kasi mga to eh, yung Suggs. Suggs kasi nasa 100. Yeah. Yung mga Kate kasi, mga Jalen Green, alam mo mapipick naman yan eh. 
hindi mataas na, eh. Mataas, oo. Alam mo, oh, maraming high on the ano yung mga rookies eh. Uh, pero tayo, ato tayo, cautious rin tayo sa mga rookies kasi nga, rookie mistakes, rookie jitters, ganyan. So, Kaya yung um, apat ang, ano ko, yung apat ang bets ko. Kung mayroon man ako rookie this year na i-own, malamang sa hindi, one of the four. One of those four. Yeah, and uh, yun, um, ano pa ba? Meron pa ba dito sa Sacramento? Wala na. Wala, wala na. Yun, yun. Okay, so on that note, oops, uh, on that note, that's the end of the six-part series ng depth chart natin among all the, we ran through all the teams. So you could check back the mga pinag-usap. Wala pa naman movements eh, since we talked about the, ano, mm. those depth charts. No? So you can listen back dun sa mga old uh, episodes, the past few episodes to see ano yung depth chart analysis namin on those on these teams. So siguro next week we'll talk more about the draft drafting strategies siguro mga ganyan. So we'll yes, we'll, yes. we'll prepare for it and medyo nag uh, sabi ko nga nag warm up kasi com with the some of the write ups and uh some of the tips that uh, on, on certain players and certain uh draft uh play draft yung parang draft primer kumbaga mm. on, on some of these players so yeah that's it for this episode this week this is uh, going to be a midweek episode itong uh, ano, ano division pacific division pacific division. division yes it will be a midweek episode so hope you enjoyed this hope na nakatulong and we'll see you again next week bye guys